I want to welcome everyone out to the Town of Lewiston Regular Town Board Meeting for April 26th. Um, please turn off all cell phones and electronic devices. Assistive listening devices are available for visually impaired. You know, I'll play the stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we can ask everyone for a moment of silent reflection, please. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Uh, County Supervisor, I'm not in on my Zoom. Are you guys all in? I'm yeah, not in. I'm not. No one left me in. No. Who's doing it? Are you back there? Right there. Mm -hmm. Is he the one who allows us? Oh, Amy, Amy does. No, Amy does. Are you, are you in? No, it just says, please, please wait. wait. The meeting host will let you in soon. Oh. She's, she's in control. Well, soon is a relative word for me. <laughs> Are you in? Yep. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, there we go. There. Thank you. Jason. Jason, are you in too? Yeah, I just let me in. Oh. All right, great. Okay, um, the agenda. Are there any um, additions or deletions to the agenda? I have one thing. Yeah. And uh, Rob Morial and I are going to make a joint uh, motion about the asphalt plant. Okay. I'll okay. just put that on the agenda. Yeah. We can't, on Zoom, we can't hear, nobody can hear you at all. Can't hear me? Nobody can hear anything. I, I, um, I wonder if these mics, which mics do you Can you turn the mics on? Actually, will you ask them if you turn the mics on? I'm asking my new world home for their MCA. I'm just plugging it in. So yeah, I'll check on the policy here. Mm -hmm. All I've got is the mic for the broadcast. Bill, is your um or yeah, Bill kind of Supervisor Bob Landon here, can you hear me? Can you hear you? Can hear you? Everybody that's remote from here. Um it's just they're in house, they're all uh the the it's fro it's frozen. So Amy Smith's trying to work it out. I think she went down to tell Bill to, to hold on for a second. How about no? Can you hear me now, Bill? I hear you, John, but I, I, I don't have a screen up. Okay. Okay. Steve, do you hear me? There's some feedback from you on your mic. It may cause feedback like that. Yeah. Can you, John, and then. Okay. I don't know why I am. No, I'm not here with Steve. Oh, I know why I'm not here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I have a mute mine. They're making me not. Good. Steve, can you hear me? Are you still audible to Okay, I won't touch the thing. Okay. Thank you, Amy. I can't hear Steve at all. You can't hear Steve at all. Love modern technology. It's something on yours, your, your volume or something. I can, just a minute. Okay. I got a screen that came up that said join using computer audio. Mm -hmm. And that just came up a minute or so ago, and mm -hmm. that's when I started to be able to hear. When, you, when you joined, though, did you, did you join using computer audio? Yeah. Yeah. And I did it uh, for the test. All right. Bill, can you hear? The yeah, I can hear him. You can turn it up.
doing audio. Remember in the old days? Okay. We had the TV and we got the smash <laughs> button. <laughs> All right, Bill. Bill. All right. Are you going to do it I don't need any introduction, but uh, I'll be here just about every board meeting until we make some positive changes here. No so one you, I'm sorry, so you just introduce yourself because... Thomas Smith, 16 okay, Cutie Street, Lewiston, New York. Thank you very much. Lived here my entire life. Nobody should be above the law, and nobody should be below the law. But that's what we have here in Lewiston. Sir, you need to be able to turn on the microphone. Yeah, it's on. We can hear you on the screen. There's a little switch on the top, yeah, so it's going. Oh, okay. So we've got some problems here in Lewiston that aren't going away. Crimes were committed. I've shown them to people. I've shown people the video. I've shown people his deposition. And that's not the first crime. There's other ones that proceeded to that crime. They falsified business records. I've got copies of the same police report, same numbers, two narratives. They had to change it. That's a crime right there, it's falsification of business records. That's what happened. And what did they do? They did it to me and my nephew, who's home on leave, fighting for this country. Now, everybody in this room is gonna have to decide what type of America are we gonna live in? What type of country are we gonna have? If it's gonna be the little secret society that gets to call the shots and they get to rise above the law, and the people that don't agree with that get sandwiched underneath, they set me up and framed me for a gun charge, saying I threatened the family with a gun. If I didn't videotape that, I'd be in jail right now. This is not funny stuff. When I walk in here and they can see the smirks, you can all marginalize me, you can all bully me, but I'm not going away. This is a fight, not just for me, I can't get the years back that these people stole, that all of you really stole, because you all put your hand up and are supposed to uh, defend the Constitution. But nobody is. Nobody is. I've got uh, notarized documents here that are complaints against the police department. I put some in before, but now I put in a Freedom of Information request for them, and they say they don't exist. I had one of his officers try to fight me at Sunoco. Tried to fight me menaced me for five minutes straight, and then he's pulling this one. Yeah, then my nephew walks out, and because he can't get anything started with me, he's gotta go after Ed Lilly's son. We've got problems in this town. I'm not taking a settlement on the lawsuit. Things have gotta change. We want an America where we can be proud of our police department, where we can really support them. But you can't support this. It's been lie after lie after lie, and not just a few. This has gone on for years. How, how many notes of claims did I put in, thinking that if I put it in, things would stop? Oh, they settled down for a little bit, and they come back, and they do it more and more. Well, right now, there's probably another setup that's in the works. 
Well, you know what? If, there, if I had to sacrifice myself and be a, 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 a bug that gets zapped for everybody to see, at least the microscope will be on everyone here. Right, and uh, things, have, things have got to change, and I'll be back here. Some, some families get to, get to pay 17 grand and get out of things when they should have been pursued. But I get framed for stuff. I'm not even asking for special treatment. I'm asking for equal treatment, but I don't. I get framed, framed for a gun charge, framed. If I didn't videotape it, how many phone calls did he have with Terry Rutler? Okay, sir, thank you for your comments. Thank you for participating in government. Anyone else wish to speak before the board this morning or this afternoon, this evening? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, if not, then we'll move on to the department head statements. Donald, anything for the first office? I have nothing. Chief? Nothing on the agenda. I'd just like to say that uh, in respect to the board, if there's any issues, you know how to contact me. To sit here and listen to nonsense and speculation and people demean the police department and make false accusations. There's a system in place to address this type Corrupt of thing. system. And this is not the way to handle it. Well, I'll be here every one day. I believe that this is my time to speak. Correct? Yes, it is. Okay. So well, I'd, like to, I'd like to thank the, the board for that. And there's a process for everything. And I don't have to sit here and be accused of committing crimes. I think that's ridiculous to have to listen to rankings 100%. 100%. of people who are 100%. unsubstantiated in this type of meeting. And I don't appreciate it. I appreciate getting set up and framed. All right, um, building department, Timmy, you want to? Two masters. Ship that mine for that. I told everybody if they want to okay. see it, I have it. Nobody wants to see it. And then you want to call me a liar? Engineer. I'll just wait till it all comes out in the paper. Bob. You can lie as much as you want, brother, but you dishonor everybody that's Good night, sir. sacrificed for this country. Good night. And you're the reason why people hate the police. Bob, did you, did you have anything you wanted to mention? Uh, no, I'm, I'm on the agenda, Mr. Conrad. Okay. Um, Jackie, finance? Yes. I provided the board a budget revision for 2021 for $74. Move for approval as presented. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carried. Anything else, Jackie? I uh, just wanted to let everybody know that our auditors, Drescher and Malecki, filed our 2020 New York State annual update document with the Comptroller's Office. Um, and they, the auditors will begin their town audit on June 1st. Okay. Thank you. Town Attorney, Mr. Vax, anything? I've got nothing to add at this point. You've addressed all the things on the agenda. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Train, Dave Train, anything from my way? Uh, address that now with you, Jackson? Yeah, we can do it right now. Yeah. Awesome. It's the Highway Department Purchase Resolution. Piggyback and the number is it's from the governor, it's the gov government office S 1090 slash A 2580. It extends the ability to piggyback off all your municipal contracts. What it, what it does is it allows me and the other department heads to buy off of the municipal contracts. We're already out the state bid. This way, here we can buy from other uh, counties and stuff like that, too, and not like purchases of trucks, equipment, anything. It'll go from the highway, the parks, uh, town hall, police department, it allows us all to buy. It's been extended by the governor to 2023, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I just need approval by the board. Authorization from the board to piggyback off the seat. Uh, well, municipal contracts. Right. Why don't you move for that? I'll second it. I want to make that motion. Uh, second. Uh, in discussion? Sure. Is it possible we can extend this to, to all the um, purchasing that you do through the state? Well, it would be all the department heads can purchase through right. uh, municipal contracts. 
Like I use the county mostly. Right. But when it comes to certain other equipment and stuff like that, it's not on the county big book, so we go outside the county. So this gives me, I can use on a dog lot, and I use them for most of my trucks and equipment for my large, large trucks. I use source well for smaller trucks. They're just all companies that do state bids. Al? Okay. Any comment? Mr. Max? No, I think, I think that makes, makes a lot of sense. Uh, they are all state bids, and uh, obviously the department heads that can participate in it uh, will benefit, obviously. Okay. And it's something you've done in the past, anyway. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. You made the motion, Mr. Morial. Second, Mr. Gardner. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Did you say that Steve is on Zoom and he can be voting? I did not. But Steve, Mr. Supervisor, obviously. Whenever you want to chime in, chime yeah, in. No, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Except for my stuttering. <laughs> not know the time of day. <laughs> Uh, anybody out from the water department? Dan, come on. Is he on? Dan, Dan I don't know. No. I don't I know. Oh, there he is. No, everything is good. Thank you, Dan. I talked to Dan today and said that the uh, contractors are starting to do landscaping up in Colonial Village. So that's a good sign, and they will probably be down on River Road sometime soon, and um, they're moving along nicely. Great. So that's what my neighbors are about. Yes, uh, well that's why I called Dan, because I keep getting uh, people stopping me and asking, well, what's the progress? And it's a good sign that they're up in uh, Kelowna Village, and then they'll be coming down below the hill. Right. Uh, hopefully the uh, River Road is the next one to get done. It's kind of a bill for a lot of people. Sorry, I keep spinning my chair. My neck doesn't turn to get used to it. So, uh, it looks a little, looks a little funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Jeff, from the Waste Water Treatment Plant. Anything? Uh, nothing to report today. Right, thank you. Mike Dashnell from Red. Anything? Yes. Mike? Yes, sir. I got three things. Uh, I'll make that motion. Second. Second. All in favor? All right. All right. Uh, Any opposed? Okay. Continue. Uh, second, second thing is uh, uh, we looked into and we started to create a fishing program here in Lewiston. Uh, I'd like the board's permission, blessing to move forward with that program. Um, I was able to uh, get some prices over. Uh, this is going to be a volunteer based program. Uh, the money from the program itself that the town is going to be on the hook for is we're going to be purchasing tackle boxes and uh, beginner fishing poles for any kids that, uh, that register for the program. Uh, we're working with uh, a couple of the uh, charter captains uh, here in Lewiston and uh, Joe Oliverio who sits on our recreation advisory committee uh, come up with this nice six week program for the kids to introduce them to uh, fishing on the river and what we like to do is have six weeks of training courses for them once, once a week and safety courses and then uh, allow them to go into the river and uh, learn how to fish. Mike probably does not need board approval to do it as part of the recreation, but it wasn't part of budget discussion in the fall. Mm -hmm. So you want to just to clarify that, that he has some funds to move around to be able to fund this and to move ahead with it. I think it's an excellent, excellent program. I've sat in on a couple of times when uh, they've had their meetings and they're enthusiastic. They're gonna have tackle boxes, they're gonna have different lures, they're going to have literature telling them what fish they'll be looking for this week versus next week versus the following week. And I'm excited. So the first so many participants will get the tackle box and, and the other equipment. So if, Al, do you think we need a motion for that? Bill, as you, as you mentioned, I, I think because it's, it is a program within Recreation Department um, is. I think we just need to make sure that we allocate enough funds for it. Um, Mike has already taken the lead on, on getting it started, so I don't think it requires board approval. Uh, but obviously, if there's a if there's a fund requirement, then we have to make sure that it's in the budget. 
Mike is very confident that the programs that have not been able to run because of COVID will be able to fund this. So he's confident to move forward with it. So no board approval, but a, a thumbs up that it's a good idea. All right. I just want to add to it. We, we have volunteers on the program that, um, with Captain Frank Mara and uh, Joe Oliverio. And I'm sorry, uh, Joe Mara and Frank Camp. Uh, those are the three that have been helping us quite a bit, giving us a lot of insight into fishing. It's going to be a great program for the kids. And third thing, what, did, I'm you sorry, have some, did you have something else for you? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, uh, town board, I, I emailed you out today. The, um, uh, the, the, the design that was chosen by the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee uh, for the new playground at Fletcher Road Park. Uh, I was hoping that you would uh, have a chance today. I know I got to you a little late uh, to kind of review it, uh, but that is what I will be presenting to the Greenway Committee on uh, Tuesday, May 11th, uh, along with the playground at uh, Sanborn Park. You, uh, have just link, on, you, you have the link attached to this email. Do you have a chance to look at that? to see how, how impressive this piece of apparatus is. Oh, yes. And um, in comparison to other apparatus, this one is almost 100% all-inclusive, not a lot of satellites, so that the kids can actually wander through it and uh, uh, interact with each other. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's quite, the, quite the operation. Uh, Mike's got a few, a few things on the color combination and a little bit of looking for some more benches and to open up the slide, uh, the tube slide a little bit for um, safety. So I, I'm impressed with it. I think Mike's worked very well with this company and come up with a good design. Great. Thanks, Mike. Mike, I, I have a question, Mike. Oh, do, we need, do, do we need to pass a resolution tonight for the 11th, or can we do it on the 10th? Uh, that, that, that resolution was already passed and submitted to the Greenway. Um, okay. The way, the way we did the, uh, the, the program itself, set a budget. We submitted it to Greenway nice and early so we can stay on time. Um, that was all submitted over. Now we chose between the three companies uh, which design we like best within our budget. Um, once we get the, the, uh, the approval for Greenway, I'll be back at the town board meeting to award the contract uh, with a little bit of tweaks that we have left and then construction dates. Okay, perfect. All set. Mike, you're at the baseball yep. diamonds. Lot going I am, on. yes. A lot, of, a lot of kids out there? Yeah, every, every field. Every field full tonight. Good. It's, uh, 50 degrees out, so it's uh, nice to see. Uh, kids, have, uh, kids have really been shut in for a year, so. Okay. Thank you. Great. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Melinda, are you on? Yes, I'm here. Uh, do you have anything, please? Or anything from the board? Agenda is the approval of the meeting minutes from the April 12th, 2021 work session. Move for approval as printed. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Carry. Auto payment, Mr. Mike. You have two. I do. Don't we have two tonight? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, just the one. Just the one. Okay. Okay. Um, the audit came with Councilman Myers. Move to approve the regular abstract of plans number 21 00929 to 21 01074 and recommend a payment in the amount of $1,205,295.37. For the post audit of $12,639.43. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. <coughs> All right, under pending old business, <laughs> change order number three, 2018 water system improvement project, emergency plan. Um, Bob, is that you, Bob Landon? Uh, yes. Can you hear me okay, Mr. Conrad? Yes, sir. Uh, this is a uh, change order that has been proposed uh, to uh, essentially widen the existing six foot wide path on Lower River Road uh, from Toucher North to the town line uh, to uh, an eight foot wide path. Uh, and, uh, it is a change order that's going to be funded in its entirety uh, with the uh, New York Greenway and um, in association with New York State Parks. So this will be a change order that we would execute or the board is up for consideration 
Move for approval as presented. So second. Second with the discussion. Okay. The, um, <coughs> have a meeting and uh, dig up all the existing black tech for stuff that just came in and start with uh, the heavier stuff and then do a final top coat. Yeah, what, what you see there now, Mr. Jacoby, is a book called Binder, so it has a larger aggregate, a little bit more rough in appearance. Yep. And when it's when it's done, um, uh, it'll be a, a fine um, uh, top coat, much much smoother, similar to a road surface. Right. Right. Same material. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Sure. Sure. Okay. Can I say something? Yes, please. I'm, I'm happy to have that path in front of my house and widening it is no problem. My question is how many other residents are going to be happy about it being another two feet wider in front of their house? It remains to be seen, I guess. Yeah. The, um, I don't know if anybody I, online yeah, Bill, Go ahead. I, I could say I've talked to several neighbors and not, none of them have expressed any um, disappointment with the increase in the road. I've, I've seen spoken to some people north of the park, Joe Davis Park, and talked to some people just north of uh, our senior center. So um, I, I think it's going to be a, an asset to the community. I, I, it's used, it's used um, extensively. It's going to look uh, extremely well done. It's going to be straighter than the old path. It won't have the crookedness to it. We, we walked it with Millhurst, and um, we're excited to that path in, and we also want to um, down the road uh, enhance our path between Mohawk and Fletcher as well. Uh, and we're working with the state on that one. Okay, okay. I, like I said, it's fine with me. A lot of them will be fine. I just don't know. Okay. Right. Well, Steve, out of respect, I would, I would just ask you to wait until the end of the, the resident statements and, and not interrupt. And, and I, I, know you're, I know you're respectful. All right, thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Thank you, Steve. Um, next, move on to the. Uh, we have, we have the I'm sorry, we're going to make the final motion. We have a motion and a second. Who seconds? We have to vote. I second. Okay. okay. And we had the discussion. All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. All right, next item is the release of the Buckland Pump Driveway, Mr. Train. Uh, I'll back something uh, paperwork. I just have to have it signed by the resident. Thank you. I think that was a very good solution. All right. Al, we don't need a motion? Uh, no, I, I believe you moved on it and uh, authorized the, uh, the conveyance of the pipe at the last meeting. Okay. Um, I, I think it was just subject to the release being provided and, and executed by the, the resident. All right. Thank you. New business. Um, any public correspondence? Um, mm -hmm. If you skip the emergency, yes. under one more under, 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 under old business. Old business. Pending old business. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like it was one <coughs> item. All right, the emergency plate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who has that? L. L. Can I take that? I can take the lead on it. All right. Thank you. This, uh, this was a, an emergency plan that was, was uh, devised by the town uh, for purposes of addressing emergencies in the future uh, and designating uh, what we would consider essential workers. Uh, there was uh, some feelers that had gone out to the unions and their feedback uh, had been uh, provided to the town and incorporated into this version that you have in front of you. So all we need to do is if someone can make a motion to accept it as the town's emergency plan, seconded and voted it. Uh, motion. Uh, uh, move for approval and quick discussion. Okay. Is there a second? No, second. second. All right, discussion then, Mr. Guyman. Al, do you have that in front of you? I don't have it in front of me. Okay. I have it in the digital version. I can tell you what the changes that I, were made. I, that's what I noticed a, a little clarifier that you might want to address. Uh, under highway, it says laborer. Under water, it says laborers. Certainly, I think we probably the, the spirit of it is to be um, to be plural. Obviously, if we, if we need more than one in an emergency situation, it would be up to the department heads to determine them as essential workers. So, uh, if you want to amend the motion uh, in a friendly way to say that uh, it would be 
thanks, Bob, because we did some discussion about that before, and this is the best solution, absolutely. Your motion and second. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aye. Any opposed? Right? Finance? Checking? And then. Budget transfer? Yeah, we already did. Just put that out of your account, right? Anything else, Mr. Supervisor? Well, that's it. I'll see you. I'll be back in town Wednesday. All right. Come along and straight. No, 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 all right, Mr. Uh, Councilman Guyman. Okay. Uh, May is Older America's Month, and we have a resolution that I would like to present and ask the council members to sign it. Seniors in the United States lend to the success of our country in many ways by sharing their knowledge, talents, and abilities that not only benefit their well-being, but all the citizens of our great nation. And whereas the town of Lewiston is proud of our senior citizens, Lewiston is a better place to live, work, and enjoy because of their constant enthusiasm and energy. And whereas seniors in Lewiston continue to reach out to all Lewiston residents, young and old, who wish to share in their programs and activities on a daily basis. Now, therefore, let it be known, recognizing the aforesaid and, a, and as an expression of pride and gratitude, it is seniors, residents, in the Lewiston Town Board proclaims month of May 2021 to be the Older America's Month in Lewiston, New York. And it will be signed by the four councilmen and the supervisor. We need a motion for that. We need a motion for that. Okay, I'll make the motion. Let me make the motion. I'm an older American. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm not the oldest one. If Steve was here, he'd make a comment to me. <laughs> I just did. You didn't hear it. Oh. <laughs> I'll second it, uh, John. Okay, okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. All right, anything else, Mr. Guyman? No. Uh, Mr. Uh, Councilman Jacoby. Um, we have a site plan approval. Uh, at um, 4702 Lower River Road. And the DEC came in and they said it's time, they don't need to get any special uh, permits or anything. And the only thing they recommend is that uh, the project adheres to all the local building and uh, there's some rules on the bank there as well, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, what do we need to do here? Negative tech? You have to approve a negative tech and then uh, the second Okay. Um, I move that we approve a negative deck on this project. Second. I'll second it. Uh, just discussion. You know, it just—it seems different than we've handled the other ones along that area, and why the DEC lean this way, I don't know, but I accept it. Yeah. 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 Kind of have to. Yeah. yeah. And it was reviewed by the planning board. Mm -hmm. and, uh, just. Go. I think the fact that it's floating and removable yeah. probably makes it a little bit. I think I was at that meeting. Robin and I were at that meeting when he presented it. Yeah. It was very well done. It was. It was a nice design. And I believe they can, I mean, they did consult with, you know, yeah. the DC on the design and they did the core as well. So, all right. Um, we'll vote on the negative cut. All right, a motion and a second. Okay. Yeah. Would you second it? Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, now the site plan. Now we're make a move that we approve the site plan for this project at 4702 Lower River Road. Second. Okay, Mr. Kevin, second it. All in favor? Does he need to read the SPL number in the minutes on that? Or no? Are we all right? You know, is there an SPL number to read in? Uh, I could if I look at it. If it's not on there, then. No, it's not on there. Okay, it's in the book. SPL number 87.18. Yeah. All right, 87.18-1-42. Um, and then the motion. Yeah, I meant the motion is it's, uh, right into the record, but I think I Okay. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 
Any opposed? Motion Thank you. And I have one other thing that we put on your agenda. Oh, yeah. Late. Oh, yes. um, in the town library, the town library town board uh, opted to uh, request that the New York State DEC pause any further review of an air state facility permit uh, submitted by 4660 Whitmer Road. Uh, in addition, they're also requesting that the public comment period for said application be extended pending review of the process and application by the Niagara County Planning Board, the Town of Niagara Planning Board, and the Town of Niagara Town Board. Um, I'd like to make the motion that we have our own resolution. It's um, co sponsored by myself and Rob Melliano. Uh, we've already done one resolution and sent that to the Planning Board at the county that we're opposed. Uh, to this project, and um, Rob and I will make the motion, and I spoke to the supervisor about this as well, that uh, we essentially mirror what Tom and I did, and, and Rob and I uh, um, Al will write it up in some more fluent language than I have presented it. I'm hoping uh, Al that we could have this ready for signature maybe by the end of the week. Okay. If you're able to. Okay. okay. Because you, you have a copy of that, there, correct? Um, I don't think I have a copy of exactly what the, the, the town town did, but I'm certain I can find it. Okay. okay. And, and, and if, if you, you don't, don't ask, ask me, I'll, I'll, I'll email, email it to you. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay. okay. All right. So for the record, you and Rob are making the motion to move ahead with this letter, correct? Yes. I would like to second it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And then, well, now we just want to get that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. And that's, that's all I have. Yeah. Thank you. Councilman Jacoby. Councilman Morial. Yes, our finance department did a cost analysis on the street lights to um, see the state savings initially. And right now, from 2019 to 20, then it's 19 to 21. If I'm reading this correctly, Jackie, it's at four thousand dollars, forty-four dollars and thirty-two cents savings, and the kilowatts is one hundred and fifty-one thousand four hundred and seventy-five kilowatts reduction in energy usage. So, right, and the project was a thirty-three thousand six seventy-nine project, but we got a rebates of twenty-seven thousand five hundred seventy dollars. So the cost of the town would be placed to five hundred and. I think it was 30 street lights was $6,100, $6,109. So it, it's, we're gonna have a savings of four or $5,000, I think every year. And I don't know if it'll be more, I don't know how this, we put them in in 2019, we started. Um, yeah. Started in 19, it was complete in April of 2020. Right, so next year we'll maybe do another comparison and just see what we come up with. But I think it was a good, a good one. <laughs> it was an excellent. Yeah. yeah. We, we appreciate all the work you did on that. Well, we're meeting with the grid again this week. We still have some decorative lights that aren't done. And we're going to see what they would do for us on that. If there's about 70 of them in the town. So we'll go from there. That's all I got. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Great job. Thank you. Council Myers. I don't have a We'll move on to resident statements. Um, Mr. Lyle, would you like to comment now? Steve Lyle? Hold on, we can't, can't hear you. There we go. Go ahead. No, we, we, we. I, I didn't realize it was covered in, in the work session and that proposal uh, to widen it. And I just wanted to call the residents affected by that. I, wasn't, I couldn't hear. It's all the way to the town line and north, just north of Joe Davis Park. Okay. And again, I'm in favor of it. I, I, I love that. I love seeing that. I was one of the residents that thought it when it was proposed, when the road was rebuilt, but I'm glad it's there and I use it for so many other people too. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's a good idea. It's a safety. A lot of people use that road and I cringe when I see the bikes in the roadway. Luckily, we've never had an incident and I knock on wood when I say that. But uh, it is a popular, I mean, you know, we, we would love to see a, a continuation.
continuous bike path all the way up to the lake, and they're working on doing one all the way out to the Balkan area as well. So, you know, I, I think it's a good idea to have an opportunity here for, uh, to have it paid for. So, that's good. Yeah. All right, great. Are there any residents online that wish to comment or speak? Steve? Yes. We received a letter from PIPOT Energy looking for acreage from the town. We have for a solar project. We have the town of Lewis as a town property. We have no such property. Can we just no. send them a letter and say we have no property available? Sure, you can do that or just toss it in the garbage. Well, I want them to keep coming back to us. To just uh, ask, ask Don to send a quick note out saying that uh, thank you for your letter, but we have no property available. Just to let you know that we've probably received five or six of those letters. Yeah. Yes. From different companies. Yes. And they're all looking at uh, Google Earth and seeing property and get all excited. But we have nothing available. Okay, anything else? Anyone else here? Anyone else online? The department heads, anyone want to bring anything else up this evening? Okay, if not, then we'll move on to the upcoming boards and commission meetings. The town board work session will be May 10th at 6 o'clock. The Environmental Commission, that's May 11th at 7 o'clock. The Historic Preservation Commission, May 11th at 6.30. The Zoning Board of Appeals will be on May 13th at 6.30. Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee will meet on the 19th of May at 7 p.m. And planning board will meet May 20th at 6.30 p.m. That's it, John. Do you know the uh, location for the uh, historic, where they're gonna meet? I do not know, they have to let us know yet. Okay. And I, I don't know where the Environmental Commission will meet. It yet to be determined. Okay. Right. Motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Second. Thank you, all in favor. Aye. 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 Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Bill. All right. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Steve. Safe drive home.